Do you love coffee and Monero as much as we do? Consider making gratuitous.org your daily cup. Pay with Monero for premium fresh beans, and if you like what you taste, send a digital cash tip directly to the Guatemalan farmers that made it possible. Proceeds help us grow this channel, Gratuitous, and Monero. This week on Monero Talk is sponsored by Cake Wallet. Store, send, receive, and exchange your Monero and Bitcoin safely on iOS and Android too. Cake Wallet is open source and you always control your own keys. And by Sweetwater Digital Asset Consulting. Connecting new money with old money since 2018. Cake Wallet, Sweetwater Digital are trusted and verified by the Monero community. Monero Talk is also made possible from contributions by viewers and listeners like you. And supporting us is easier than ever by typing in monerotalk.crypto in your Cake Wallet send address field to send us a tip. This week on Monero Talk. Douglas Tuman has a casual chat with Mano Crypto, a self proclaimed Monero extremist. Doug had heard Mano speaking passionately against KYC exchanges on a Monero Twitter spaces and invited him to have a convo. Monero Talk starts now. All right, Mano. What's going on, man? We're, we're, good, we're good. How are you? Right now. Thanks for doing this. Perfect, man. Perfect. Uh, no problem. I'm happy. I'm happy to help. You know, everything that uh, supports Monero, I am in it. You know. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, why yeah, I wanted to have that's, you. Uh, that's, that's why I wanted to have you on. I heard you talking last night. You sounded um, very enthusiastic about Monero. I thought you had some interesting things to say. Yeah. So I wanted to have you on, have a conversation. Yeah. So yeah, it's it's because uh, yeah because some parts uh, in the in the in the Monero community, uh, I'm long time in in, in Monero. You know, uh, maybe I can tell something about myself. I'm uh, Mano, and uh, I I run the biggest uh, cryptocurrency community in in Holland and Belgium. And uh, really, well, what I what I see, I, yes, I'm in I'm like 2013. You know, I'm in in in, in Bitcoin, and uh, around two to, I I bought uh, Monero on 50 cents, something like that. And uh, the things I see now it don't make me happy at all, you know. And that's why I sometimes some some people always uh, sometimes they say to me, "Yeah, you're a little bit extreme," and and you know. But yeah, I I uh, I just say the things that I see, you know, what I don't like, and uh, yeah, I, I I can tell it with passion because uh, it hurts me <laughs> sometimes. What you know? what type of things don't you like? What 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 aren't you you liking about the? You know, when, when, what, what, what what I saw when I started with Bitcoin in in the past, and I don't know how long you were in Bitcoin, but when I started back in the days, you know, Bitcoin was something. It was something special, you know. You had the feeling it was something special. Uh, you, you know, you can't you could not even talk about it. You know, it was it was crazy. If, if you t people don't even know it, they don't know what it was. You know, and and when they even know it, they only think about hey, you're a criminal. So you know, it was scarce. It was scarcity. Everybody was scared to talk about it because yeah, nobody want to want to tell that you know somebody tell that you're a criminal or something. But you know, it was that that time that I liked. Uh, but I like and and then after that, you know, the 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 KIC started uh, coming in and uh, uh, it it was uh, it was the things I I I didn't notice on back then, you know, I didn't notice what happened to to the Bitcoin chain, and you know, uh, it, it hurts me and and then I, I and one time I see now when I see when I'm in Bitcoin, I see bankers, I see hedge funds, I see uh, uh, governments, I see people screaming for. Uh, regulations. I I think wh 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 where where is this going, man? This 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 is this is the opposite of what we had to do. You know, we want to destroy the dollar. You know, that was the point. You know, our own system. But now the only people that are running into Bitcoin are the guys that you know. I want Bitcoin. I like freedom. But on the end, they like the, they like the dollar more because they go out with with profit. You know, and, and their, their their mind is way too too small. And I, I, for me, it's you know, I'm completely. Uh, so what happened? Uh, Monero. I always liked Monero because I, I, when I saw it, I directly noticed it that it was uh, that it was private. Uh, it was and back in the days there were not, were not many coins. So in the crypto community, you directly know notice it. You know, like Ethereum and uh, Monero. They were the they were the coins that you know. If you are the crypto community, you you would know that these coins are a little bit uh, special. 
so on the on the, when when bitcoin we start more more uh, how do you say uh media mainstream i start like like it less less and less you know and monero uh, the, the the people in monero it were the people that in bitcoin in the first place that start going to monero because they saw nobody liked what happened to monero to bitcoin you know so everybody was thinking what the fuck is this man we, we need we need to go oh, what is this so everybody start moving to to monero and you see the yeah you know, not you know i'm not going to call everybody an idiot but a lot of moon boys they stay in bitcoin just for the profits they always get raped by by, by the exchanges the price go down they blame bitcoin they blame never themselves and you know the monero community always stay pure they were always focus on on where where it started with bitcoin they were always focus on 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 uh, improvement uh, in, in updates in in everything and you know nobody talks about the price and and that sort of stuff and i liked it you know i, I really liked it and on the end you know i say to people you know you know fuck bitcoin man this is this is not uh, i have bitcoin just for the money i i don't even care about it anymore i don't take it serious anymore you know uh with this light they did the, the light uh, lightning network ch- ch- stole all the all the uh, the the transactions from the bitcoin chain uh, and everybody is screaming yeah 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 they don't even know what they're saying you know and with monero sometimes now what i now going to see is that uh because the price is low people they are irritated and they think yeah the price the price is low well you know what we need other, we need kic we need visa we need mastercard we need this is not the way we have to do to handle monero we we must uh, stay on the main goal and don't care about dollars this dollar the dollar if, if people have some vision the dollar is finished you know we go to cbdc's and when when that system comes in you can forget you whatever dollar you have klaus schwab he will swap all your euros to cbdc's and uh goodbye with your freedom you know people don't see what is going on i see i see what they are doing i see that monero is going to be the most important coin in, in uh, you know it's going to be the most important asset and not only monero i'm i'm not i'm not a guy like uh, uh that say you know we need only one coin you know no we need only one one monero no i i love all privacy coins because we all try to do the, the, the we have all the same goal i'm not i'm not like uh, a guy that uh, that you can divide with you know i'm in the monero community he is in our community he is in the ccx you know for me they are all the same because we all try to do the same you know and on the end, we need, you know, you will have to see if we work together as privacy community, we were, were so much stronger, man. If you see like the, the FAT and the ECB, they are working together on a level we cannot even comprehend. And we want to uh, uh, destroy them and we cannot even work together. How the fuck are we going to destroy them? You know, for me, yeah, I have a lot of uh, emotions in this because what I see, you know... <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah well, I'm sorry. You, you've been no, this is good stuff, man. I, I think it's yeah. good for people to hear from somebody who's been in the ecosystem for a long time, has seen yeah. it evolve. Is yeah. that when you got into Monero originally? What was it because it was private? You understood the privacy even back then. Is that was that your re, re, original yes. reason for getting into Monero? No, no. For me, it was it was like in the back in the days. You know, I was in Bitcoin. And suddenly, there, the, a coin came out. It was Monero, you know. And you had also uh, Z. I think Zcash was in the same time, something like that, also coming. Uh, mm-hmm. Ethereum. We had Ethereum. And you know, in that time, there were not many coins, but everybody was thinking, "Hey, you know, this Bitcoin is going up." May, you know, if if maybe there is a possibility, because back in the days, I had the same attitude uh, to make dollars. I think, ah, yeah, no, you know, let, let's make some money. The, you know so i think okay you know wait you know what if i buy this monero maybe it's going to be uh be going to be expensive later but when 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 um, the more i learned about cryptocurrency and why it exists and why you know the more you learn about money you know it, it, you're going to understand that bitcoin is you that you know you're going to understand that you need privacy you know you're going to understand that if you want to uh, if you understand the first thought of Bitcoin, you know, like uh, a private cash system uh, for the for you and me between peer to peer, then you, without banks, without governments, then you're gonna, going to understand that hey, this this shit needs to be private, man. You know how 
everything is open and and at some point you know yeah you know how it goes naturally you're going to because you have invested in it and i'm somebody when i'm invested in something i'm going to read about it very good you know and you know the more, more i learn the more, more i you know i earn <laughs> and the more more i get the more attention that you know privacy is uh, is very important and now on this moment where i am now i i, I fully fully uh, understand my mind is on the level of a globalist you know i'm not uh, I, i'm not for black blue white muslim christian i am above way above this i see from you know i see them see it how it is i don't care about a flag i don't care about a, a religion i just i see what the globalists see and to defeat them we all need this vision you know the globalists they are very smart people and how you the only way you can defeat them is to think as them you know that's the only way how we can defeat them with this monero thing you know uh, monero is a very powerful tool and they know it they know it it's a very very powerful tool people are complaining on an exchange like yeah the prices are low and this brother why are you uh, worried about the dollar price what well, it's low of course it is low they don't want monero it's normal that it is low what are we do what are you talking about of course it is low don't complain buy more or stay out if you come for money go to shiba go to you know of course i'm not i'm not dirty of a little bit money you know we trade but if i trade i trade on shit coins because shit coins go to the moon you know of course it's normal because the, what are these exchanges are doing these banksters they are making crypto ridiculous you know a shiba this this is the most the biggest bullshit ever comes on the biggest exchange in the world and gets pumped the fuck out how do you know you you know you need to come from mars if you don't understand what's going on here they, yeah, well, they, what, what they do you, what do you think the reason is for that you so you're saying there it's there's people behind that intentionally trying to uh, what yes. show I, that? I, will, I, I will explain you exactly why they're doing this the point is if monero gets a high monero is very day we know that monero is very dangerous it's a very very dangerous coin and the globalist knows this they know it they must take action so what they do people think yeah you know they are scared if monero is get removed by uh, exchanges yeah that is uh, not good for us that's bad because then i say why is bad for the price okay it's okay that's bad but when they do it they cannot control monero anymore it's very very good we have one thing that all other coins don't have we are backed by the dark net and i will tell you my friend if me you will see where this world is going you know if they 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 going to cut meat out of the, in the law they're going to say hey you know what you cannot eat meat anymore my friend i'm going to be the biggest meat dealer on the dark web and sell all all my meat for monero you know so yeah i, I swear you know so this is where we're going and why are exchanges and bankers uh doing this shiba thing you know pumping the fuck out of it because they want the stupid people that just come in uh, crypto because people you must understand people moon boys and people that don't know they don't value a coin on tech they value a coin on on, on dollars on a price so when a price is high they think hey that's a good project i need to go in there so all the ships go in that project what you know and you see on this coin telegraph and you see the news yeah uh shiba goes to the moon and blah and that's the point when everybody goes in on the end and then you see the bankers they exchange they ripped everybody out and they say and then you see the moon boy screaming yeah crypto is, is is a scam no it's not a scam you're an idiot you know it's because uh, but if you want to make money what we do what i do if you want to make money join them and you know if you can't beat them join them because i know when like a te coin telegraph and uh, they start to pumping it on the end when it's already pumped i know it's the end take your money and leave so on this way we make money so we buy more monero we buy more more of that stuff you know but for not there's not one single moment that i think you know that shiba or uh, how this co this is all bullshit this is all distraction they distract us from the real purpose of crypto and they do it perfectly because uh, people in monero they are uh, they are complaining about the dollar price but you know we just need to go to the core it's very important to know what what monero is and to understand how dangerous it is it's normal that they they uh go that this is their way to go you know you know don't expect any hands out from them they they are enemy why why are you expecting any hands out from from the people that creating the dollar man you know that's stupid to think that's even naive you know uh so so in, in my i learn my people my members i always learn them 
uh, don't, uh, don't buy Monero just as in, not, not as an investment to buy make more dollars. I tell them the dollar is an end. Buy buy Monero as an insurance. You know, as an insurance uh, if it w- be what what is coming in the future because we can all see. You know, it's not going to be well <laughs> if the CBDCs are here. Well, yeah. if Klaus Schwab is ready with his uh, program, it is uh, you know, it's not so- good. <laughs> Do you think um, the powers that be that you're referencing are essentially okay with Bitcoin at this point? They're they're. I I will I will tell you a, a, a thing. What I think. Bitcoin. I I think now on this moment that Bitcoin, the blockchain technology, has dropped on the internet by the globalists themselves, and I also tell you why. I'm going to tell you exactly why, and maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm not. That's uh. I think that uh, the, we, we are going to a digital future. I think everybody can see it. You know, where, the, the, where we are heading is a, a digital future. They want everybody working at home, uh, you know, complete digital, you know, metaverse. Everybody is uh, pushing uh, a digital world. We go on our IDs, our license, everything is going digital. And then you have the multinationals that are going into uh, uh, Bitcoin and they, you know, that makes me think, why are they going in? And then I think about gold. How, why has gold his value? Gold has not his value because it's backed by the government. Because in, in the past, the, the people paid each other with it. Back in the day, you know, a couple hundred years ago, they paid each other with it. So when uh, governments came in, they took the gold out of the hands of the people and they, why has gold value in their safest? Because we, the people, understand that it has value. We want it. We had it in our hands. We want it. We, we learned that it has money, that we can buy things with it. Bitcoin has followed the same way. First, they created this, give, created it. They give it to the people. We fight against it. We, 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 we learned that it has value. We learned it has value. But if you look good, more, a lot of Bitcoin go to the multinationals, the governments, and everybody. It, it's flowing to them, so it follows the exact path as as gold. It it, it it goes from the people. First, you give it to the people because a government cannot say, "Hey, you know what? We invented Bitcoin, and then now you have to say that it's a sixty thousand dollar worth." No, this doesn't work. Not not like that. We, the people, must learn that it has value. Actually, we, the the, the people, uh, backing that 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 dollar price on on Bitcoin. So. You know, governments did it. I think it's very because uh, in the future we are going to. They need a digital gold. You know, they need a digital gold because if you are in a digital future, what's better than the digital gold? You know, I think Bitcoin is created to are uh, to be the new digital gold of their sick future. You know, because a future in a, in a digital future needs a digital gold. It's perfect. It's perfect because we already learned that Bitcoin has a value. And it's uh, and it's all back, floating back to their to their uh, vaults, you know. And of course, a little bit is in, a little bit is with the people, you know. A lot, uh, a lot of uh, you know, the, the, one there, one there, one zero point one there. Zip, you know, it's a little bit of uh, 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 with us, uh, but most is uh, with them, exactly as as it is with gold. The most gold is in their vault, but we see it as as money because we have uh, jewelries. We can, you know, we see it as as money, and that's why their gold has value, you know. I think Bitcoin is the same in this way. I think uh, that that they created the globalist created uh, Bitcoin, but that's a thought. You know, I, I can be wrong. It's it's just I'm all, always uh, you know thinking about these things. You know, but on the end, it is decentralized. It is, it, it, it doesn't really matter. You know, but you know, yeah, that's what I think about it. And why aren't you concerned that Monero would would face a similar fate? No, because because uh, the, the tech, it's only the technology that they dropped on the internet. You know, uh, you know, I, you can say uh, uh, I, I can create a coin. I have my own coin. You know, my watches. I have a smart contract on my watches. Uh, you know, I created it. I'm not a globalist. Yeah, I think as a globalist, but I'm not a globalist. You know, so I think also money. It's only the technology, the blockchain technology that get, that give uh, dropped on, on us. You know. They, they have technology. They, they have technology we don't even know. And sometimes when it fits them, when it suits them in their agenda, as you can see, Bitcoin is uh, perfectly fo- flowing into the, uh, their agenda. It's perfect. But Monero, why I also think that it's not in their best interest is because uh, you see how, how hard they try to do their best 
to get at zero attention. They do everything in their power. They're creating fake Moneros on their exchanges they, just to suppress the price. You have this CZ. This this is a bankster. This is just a bankster in a, in, in a, in a gym suit for me, you know. They, 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 the only thing they do is pushing Monero down, you know. They do everything in their power to push it down. But what are they trying to do? What I think is that they uh, trying to come to us now, to Monero, as the same way they come to Bitcoin. With uh, yeah, KIC with 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 V. Hey, you know what? Uh, we can accept. We have now Visa Mastercard for uh, for uh, to Monero. No, yeah, th th that's what I try. You know, I'm scared of this. People don't see it, but I saw what happened to Bitcoin. I'm scared of this this thing, this evolution. We don't. We must not follow this evolution because uh, before you know it, we cannot without it. You know, before you know it, we cannot without this Visa Mastercard on the Monero. You know, a actually a second layer on 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 the Monero chain. No, we need on-chain adoption. That's the only thing we have to push. You know, you accepting uh, Monero for your services, I accepting Monero for my services. There is no KSC, and we have you know, and and it's completely how we must use it. You know, private, uh, peer to peer, perfect. But you know, uh, don't 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 come to me with I'm I'm extremely against people that say we need key i see i'm i i i for me i don't i distrust them to the bone <laughs> i swear i'm totally against it yeah i mean uh ideally i i agree with you i think that's the 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 best way to use monero is to acquire it with, with without kyc and to use it peer to peer yeah. but don't you think it's it's just market dynamics? People want to obtain Monero. The market's just providing them a way to do it. Why do you care if there's KYC on roads in in addition to um, you know non KYC? Uh, I mean, why why do we really care at that point? Isn't the more on ramps the better, even if there's KYC ones? No, because the point is that's what I say. What happened to Bitcoin? They came with you know KYC. Uh, it's okay. You can use it. You know what happened today in Holland? What happened with, with the KIC? You have to show them your wallet to uh, to use, to, uh, to extract Bitcoin from their broker's accounts. This is ridiculous. This is, this is where it starts. It starts with, is it not, you know, it starts with the KIC a little bit. And then it gets worse and worse and worse and worse. And before you know it, you know, the whole point of Monero is gone. You know, it's just gone. Nobody cares all because the people learn. They, they don't care anymore about it. You know, Bitcoin is destroyed. Uh, Monero is destroyed. Yeah, you know, I, I understand that people say, yeah, but w there will be more people in uh, Monero if there is uh, some KIC. Yeah, I, I I understand that. But uh, for me, most of the people say that with the intention that okay, yeah, then maybe the price get higher. I, my intentions are totally different. For me, I don't care about the price. You know, if I care about the price, I go to a Bitcoin or another shitcoin. But if I talk about Monero, I don't care about the price. So also not care about uh, adopt because I, I, what I learned is that adoption is not growing uh, uh, because of KIC or Visa or Master. It's not growing. It's, it's, it's only distracting us from the point where we must go. You know, we have to push uh unchained uh, unchained transactions uh for the monero adoption we have to we have to do that and if we do going to do other things that's what that's what i think if we go to other things i am scared that we're going to follow the same road because every time saying okay this is good this is good this is good and on the end we forget what we're doing here just like if you if you are in the bitcoin community now if you ask them why they're here yeah dollars i want dollars i want kic i want regulations you know, the, the way I look at it is it's like cash, right? So I could go to the bank. I could take out cash. Sure, there's KYC involved. Bank knows who I am. I'm taking out my money. But once I take it out, uh, it I'm free to use it as I wish, right? Because it's cash and it's not being mm -hmm. tracked and traced thereafter. So there's, there's some freedom there. It's not like using a credit card. It's not like uh, using a check. Um, Monero is like that. Bitcoin isn't, right? Because it could be tracked and traced thereafter. So I do see there being differences in terms of the effect that KYC can have on Monero versus the effect it can have on Bitcoin. And that's why personally, I'm okay with those additional on-ramps. You know, people want to go through an exchange to acquire their Monero, uh, a centralized exchange. So be it. They want to use their credit card. So be it. What they should do is once they acquire it, 
make sure they pull it off and hold it in their own wallet that they can control. Uh, but after that, it's it's fine. It's it's pure Monero, um, unlike Bitcoin. So that's why I'm okay with it. What are your thoughts on that? You don't you don't see that being you know, uh, you know why you know why I understand what you're saying, but uh, my, uh, euros or dollars they are the bank is the creator of it. Of course, you must go to them. You know, it's normal to to attract it from them because they are the creators. We we should take it from the miners. You know, we should because they are the creators of Monero. The community, we, 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 you know, we, the point is, we don't need them. What the only thing we have to do is build your own web shop on the dark web, whatever. You don't need to buy, uh, sell drugs. No, B sell whatever you have, you know, sell it on the dark web. You get your Monero. This, this for me, this is, this is how we have to go. That to think that it's, it's, it, it is exactly what they want. Let us think that we need them. We don't need them. We don't need them. And you're, you're, you say it right. You know, when you want euros, yeah, we must go to the bank for the cash. And then it's uh, completely decentralized. You can do whatever you want. It. But this, this, this is because it's from them. It's coming from them. Monero is not coming from them. They are the middlemen. They, they want to try, let us think that we need them. The only thing they are doing is uh, bringing people together that want to sell and buy. Why do we need them? We don't need them. We can do this also on our own marketplace. We can build a marketplace for it. Why? What? Why do you think that you never see uh, building a Binance? Why? Why do, do do they never support a, a, a crypto marketplace or, or you know something like that? Because they don't want to push adoption. They want to push distraction. That's their point. Me, they don't get me. Uh, you know. Uh, I, I I understand people that that you know for, in the beginning it's a little bit difficult uh, to 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 attract, but for me it's uh, if you want this because they the, the privacy is going to the mo the rich people of the future when CBDCs are here, it's a fact that we are all slaves. If you don't have privacy coins, you know, you are done. So uh, thinking that they are going to help you, yeah, I understand now. You know, in the moment, yeah. You know, for me, I don't like them at all. You know, I, you know, here I have here, oh, fuck, I have a sweater here. I wear it. Fuck the government. It's literally on my sweater. When I go into store, if they say mask here, you have uh, here's your answer. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not. Uh, you know, everything they say to, uh, they do it with very bad intentions. Governments are uh, cre have the declare us war. World War Three is now happening. Nobody sees it. It's happening right now. And uh, if you see World War II, how did it end? 1944, there was in, in, in Europe, there was, uh, uh, you know, people had uh, want to eat. How do you say it in English? I don't know the word. Uh, there was no food. There was no food, electricity, or yeah. water. What are the bank? What did the banksters do? The Britain Wood system, the new monetar monetary system, you know, the gold standard and everything uh, till 1987, 1978. It, they, it was created in the last year of World War II. Uh, not created. It was ready to deploy it. When, when, and then they put uh, everything on. Power, food. Uh, why? To create chaos. They're creating the biggest chaos uh, here in Europe that I've ever seen. There was no food, no drink. And then in that period, they pushed the new monetary system through it. You know, because on the end of the war... People doesn't care anymore. They want they 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 accept every every monetary system as, as long as they have food. You know, this time it will be the same. You know, it's, it's not going to every if you see, if you look around you, we are in the same position right now. You see, they're blocking the ports on all kind of lies, you know. Uh, yeah, we have uh, this, we want more money, and this is all bullshit. It's one strategy all around the world. They're putting everything in position for the last black. they creating a big blackout. We are fucked for six to nine months. And then on the end, you know, people will give for a potato a diamond. When when they when the bankers come back and say, hey, listen, here we have a new system, CBDC. Yeah, but our, you can only buy our food with the CBDC in this chaos. Everybody going to say, hey, give me it, man. I don't care. Give me, please. I want it. But if you're going to do it now and say, hey, listen, uh, I'm going to swap your uh, your euros to CBDCs, you know, that nobody's going to say, uh, 
uh, you know, uh, are you crazy? People are going to start stand up. But if you before that, like World War II, if you before that period creating a massive uh, uh, food uh, problem, uh, electric power, electricity problem, gas power problem, well, people are going to they're going to beg for it, and that's what they're doing. So I am preparing. I I have Monero. I have all other privacy coins. I uh, stacking food. I stacking water. Uh, I, I learn myself how to survive without. Uh, you know, I, I, this is, I am ready. You know, I'm ready because uh, it's coming for us. And uh, after that situation, when it's uh, when CBTCs are here, uh, <laughs> we need we need them. We need some Monero. <laughs> we need it. So uh, how about there's just for no the uh, no dollar price against it. You Huh? For the purposes of, of spreading Monero, obviously, you know, the, the higher, like we saw it with Shibu, you know, right? So the higher the price goes, the more people that want to get involved in it without even understanding what they're buying. They just want to own a few digits with the, you know, they could own a, a million Shibu Inu coins and they'll think they'll be millionaires when the price goes up to a dollar a coin, right? Which, <laughs> you know, uh, would be <laughs> that's what they think. Than, I don't yeah, know. That's so uh, incredible. The GDP of the entire <laughs> entire globe times ten, but <laughs> they don't understand money. They don't. But they but, don't, it, but it works, right? It, 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 the, the the drive, yeah. the greed yeah. works. It works. So, don't you think that's a good thing to take advantage of in Monero as well to get people to onboard? So, don't, wouldn't you want to see higher prices? People being able to easily buy it. Maybe they don't fully understand what it is they're they're buying. Maybe they're just buying it because they think it's going to be worth a lot more in the future. But isn't that good in ways? Because at least we're now growing the network or you don't even, you don't, wouldn't even want to grow it in that way. You'd want to grow it in a more pure the way. Point is, the point is, of course, but the point is to, to let that happen, you need banksters that are okay with a monero dollar price that is growing exactly what you are saying is what they understand they know that it get a lot of attraction this is the reason why monero get downvoted get uh, paper monero created because they don't want this of course you know for me i don't care if it is go up uh, go up and that way we get attention that's very good very good that's not KIC. That's very good. That's attention. But to think that they are going to do this with Monero is, you know, it's naive because they don't allow it. We have seen it already now. Monero has this, the third most developers on the chain. You know, how can this price this low? It's impossible. It's impossible. It's manipulation. They don't want it. They are very scared of it. And of course, what you say that it would be beautiful. But that is not going to happen. We see it already. <laughs> they creating it to 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 not that people not come to Monero. They creating fake Monero. You know, we see it on the exchanges. So yeah, yeah of course, it's certainly yeah. possible. It's one of the theories. But let's say Coinbase was going to add Monero tomorrow, right? Are you familiar with Coinbase? I'm sure you've heard of Coinbase. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, Most people in the United States, that's how they acquire crypto. That's how they bought their first crypto. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Back in the day, whenever you added a coin to Coinbase, it would go to the moon. Um, maybe not so much anymore. Um, but let's say Coinbase was going to add Monero. Would you not want to see that because it would be a KYC on-ramp? Or you would be okay with seeing that because it would add more buying pressure to, to Monero? Yeah, okay. Look, uh, if, of course, I'm, I'm okay with everyone uh, getting involved with, with uh, Bit uh, Monero, but something the kic is 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 something that goes against against my feeling i know people say to me these things you know it's not i'm not blind for it i you know i i know what it can do but i'm because i have i see i was in money in bitcoin i saw what happened to bitcoin i'm so scared that this is going to happen to monero that i block everything uh, you know, I see everything as an enemy, everything that has to do with KIC. And uh, look, if if uh, Coinbase is going to edit, that would be, yeah, it would be good uh, for Monero. I, th I think that it would be more good for the price because uh, exchanges, they let the price up and down. And when it go down, people lose, you know, yeah. Yeah, but I don't, Coinbase will never going to put it on their exchange. <laughs> That's that's out of the air because again 
it gets a lot of, a lot of attention. The only thing they're trying to do now is with their Binance. And I, I say to 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 Binance, I I tag, I you know he don't, don't respond to me, of course. Remove it from your exchange if you want. Remove it, please, please. We have one thing that all other accounts don't have. We have other, behind us the dark web, and people think, yeah, the dark web is criminals. My my friend, if you now go to a restaurant with a fake QR code, you are a criminal. So the line between criminal and normal person is is evaporating. You know, it's gone. It's gone. You know, it's completely gone. So don't think we we will have we need the dark web very very soon when this CBDCs and everything is going to come. Well, if we have patience, trust me, if we have patience, the dark web will bring as much as adoption as we all want, you know? But we have to stick to our principles, you know, that Monero is not for the banksters. They, if they, you know, we don't want KIC, then remove it from your exchange if you want. We don't care. We want more Monero. And they cannot remove it. I will tell you, we, they cannot remove it because if they remove it from their last exchange, Binance, it's out, it's out in the wild. They don't have control anymore. You know, that's out of control for them. That it's impossible for the banksters to let it leave from 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 Binance. You know, it's it's, it's and then they say, yeah, Kraken, uh, Kraken uh, uh, removed it. Yeah, the, in Kraken, I don't know a lot of people that go to Kraken for Monero. You know, and most people, and that's beautiful of it. Most people go to trade or gay, trade org. You just know, to be clear, Kraken in, for people that are listening, Kraken in Great Britain, not Kraken in the United States. But yeah, it was yeah, yeah. The thing that they removed it. It's a big exchange. It, was, it wasn't a big, uh, big on ramp for Monero, you think? Kraken in Great Britain? Uh, no, I think Kraken, no, no, actually, no. It was there for a long time. Uh, on the end, there was a lot of uh, withdrawal blocks and everything, the problems, you know. So uh, yeah, I th you see it on the price. It doesn't really hit the market. I think you know. But even if it hits the market, it's better. On the end, it is better. On the end, if all of all exchanges remove, we have to understand the exchanges themselves. They are not uh, good people that support the crypto community. Uh, for me, it, it are banksters in, in in gym suits. I don't trust them. They they are against us. But they. Try to do act as they have, are with us. They are not with us. They are totally against us. You know, totally, completely. And they are against the the real or original uh, cryptocurrency thought, peer to peer money. They are against this. You know, but as 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 asset to create an asset. You know, that's why they pushing all the way, all always this bull and bear bullshit. You know, yeah, it goes to two hundred fifty thousand. Yeah, yeah, it goes to uh, zero. It go and we keep focusing on the dollar. Oh, it goes up. It goes down. They're creating an asset, you know, distracting us from the point of peer-to-peer -peer payments. You know, if you go now to El Salvador, people say, yeah, Bitcoin is is, uh, is in El Salvador. Yeah, they're government wallets. <laughs> they're government wallets. <laughs> then, and, and, and then you have the other one that you can pay on the, light, on the Lightning Network. You know, people don't even understand. This means that uh, Bitcoin don't profit from it. There are no on-chain transactions, you know. <laughs> so... You know, I, I you know it's ridiculous. I don't want this from Monero. I'm fighting for it till I can. You know, I, I, I I'm I'm completely done with people that say to me, if you want uh, uh, more uh, regulations, I say go to Bitcoin, please. You know, there you can scream all day, Bitcoin regulations, KIC. For me, no, no, I will I will never accept. I will never accept. You know, and uh, we have we have the dark net. You know, fuck the fuck them exchanges. We have the dark net, and people will value and now. And two, three years, how important Monero is because uh, my website, I'm the first meat dealer on the dark web and uh, I accept Monero, you know. So when they uh, when they say it's uh, forbidden, everything that they're going to say is forbidden from now on, I'm going to sell it on the dark web. You know, fuck it. It's enough, you know, it's enough. You can comply to a certain point or a certain point. But yeah, this is this is where Monero is for, made for, you know. Uh, transaction, anonymous, they uh, they can do whatever they want. Uh, they cannot uh, catch me on uh, on uh, the transactions. It's important, very important. So, do you think there's going to be some some moments, events that are going to happen that are going to open people's eyes and you know force yeah. normies to start using Monero? Yeah, yeah, but uh, it's, but no, it's not too late. But uh, it will be very expensive for them because uh, when Klaus Schwab when he puts the the plug out of the electricity network. You know, 
there's no turning back it, and it go when it goes back on there is no more dollar there's no more euro there's no more uh, what we know there is only cbdc pro get money uh, created with a point system the social credit system yeah they going to they going to to link it on, to together and you know we are the people that cannot live without it they are completely slaves and i wonder how are they going to uh, buy it they cannot buy it the only thing they can can they can uh, get monero is through uh, giving services so that's exactly what adoption is you know uh, they have to give a service you know i come uh, and build your house uh, but uh, i don't want uh, cbdc's uh, okay i give you monero for it so you know then then we have adoption on one point i think it will but for most people on that moment it's too late because they are now distracted by shiba dollars you know i mean they are more they are way too much distracted they want to go uh, 100 times uh, you know they want to push 100 times 200 times they don't care about crypto they care only about more dollars they don't understand they're screaming crypto but uh, if you if you listen to them very good they actually screaming i want dollars yeah Oh so, yeah, I know. I know. Yeah, I, I talk yeah, to people yeah. like that every day. Every day, I, I spoke to somebody the other day that bought a thousand dollars worth of Shibu, you know, like a month or so ago, and he's yeah. saying, "Well, uh, you know, went down a little bit since because I guess I, I, yeah. I don't follow it. I don't follow Shibu, but I, I manage. <laughs> I imagine it's pretty uh, volatile right now." Um, and he's like, "Well, you know, it's more of a it's more of a five to ten year uh, investment." Wow! Like uh, I don't know about that, Matt. I'm like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, ten years. Uh, if you're if you're weighing it against the dollar, it might be a big, a big, a big old zero. You know, this this, this this is the thing. You know, they they think they know something. They think they're talking about something. They don't see that it's complete rubbish. It's yeah. just you know rubbish from the rubbish and. The only thing they want, yeah, they don't even understand themselves. They don't want to learn. They don't want to read. Yeah. But the people that are doing this, they will pay with their freedom. Their price will come because when the when when Schwab, Klaus Schwab, is plugging on un plugging us, you know, these people will get the the the, the present. You know, yeah, there's your dollar, please. Yeah, and now you're going to pay with your freedom. Give me your freedom. You know, yeah. these people. Uh, you know, me, I trade, I trade, but I understand. I understand, you know, one night stands, you know, in and out. I don't care about this shit coin. I'm not attached to it with my heart. You know, if you look, uh, if you look closely to these coins, it's uh, completely rubbish. You know, how the hell are you going to hold shit? You know, if you're going to say to me, okay, yeah, Monero, you know, a Bitcoin is scared. If you say to me, I'm going to hold it for long, I can understand. But if you come to me, yeah, Shiba or a Dodge or, uh, you know, please come on. Huh? Uh, yeah, then I directly for me, it's all I don't want to talk anymore. You know, it's all, already done. That yeah. conversation is already done. It, it, it's sad to it's sad to see, but it's also unfortunately yeah. it's just yeah. how people are going to find their yeah. way into crypto, and they're going they're going to get yeah. burnt. But eventually, they'll start to understand, and they'll start to see what the real value is. You what? said in yeah. in holland you run a, a crypto meetup over there or what's you a crypto group no i uh run a I run a, um i have a, a hill a very big telegram group Tele and uh i put you know I, I already saw what happening you know a long time ago way before uh what where we living now this bullshit. Uh, i saw it way before and i was always posting about it. listen they're going to fuck us they're going to do this and everything i said Literally everything, you can see it. Yeah, you don't understand to speak Dutch, but people in Holland know. Everything that I said has come true. Everything, every single thing. I predicted everything. So a lot of people now, uh, you know, say, I was, uh, in the beginning they say, yeah, you're a nuthead, you're, you know, you're crazy. But since 2020, pff, it's exploded because I was right all the time, you know. It, uh, there's no denial anymore, you know. This is, <laughs> I saw what happening, and it's, this is why I always say to people right now. This is why I say to people, go to Monero if you want to make money. That's okay. It's no problem. Go let, understand what trading is. Uh, you know, go buy some coins up, down, take some profits. You know, that's okay. But never forget to buy Monero or you know other privacy, good privacy projects. And 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 keep it as insurance. Uh, don't 
keep it as profit in your you know i want to make profit of it this is it this is a diff, this is totally wrong mindset we have to use monero as 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 an insurance you know when i pay my uh, my car insurance I, I i i'm not busy with uh, how much i'm going to make on it on the end of the month no i have it just in case something happened i'm sure i have my insurance this is how we have to treat monero as well you know keep it keep it with you what because when something happened you know you have monero this is this is how i treat monero not because i want to get richer of it i have a lot of other other shit coins i use for that you know monero is special for me it's very special i keep it way behind other coins you know it's it's also technology on the on tech side on it's the number one coin it has the third uh, most developers in the world the project and you know for me it's uh, i love monero i really really love monero you know <laughs> with my heart really because i, I, I hear yeah, you yeah if, if, if there was no monero i think i i would have le left uh, the crypto community because uh yeah I, I cannot now think about a uh, crypto community without Monero because Monero is what crypto, what Bitcoin noobs think they buy, you know. And uh, if if that's if this this is what not, was not here, I, I yeah, then I was with the the Bitcoin community now. They only screaming uh, regulations, bank. You know, I would not be happy with that situation. So I'm very 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 thankful to the Monero developers and uh, everyone that doing great job in the Monero community. I love them. I really love them. I created my watch, you know. This is uh, the Monero, the Monero, just so much I love. I created this watch uh, out of love for Monero. <laughs> I love the watch, man. Wait, show, show yeah. that again. Let me see that. <laughs> Let me see the watch. Uh, uh, oh yeah, that that's awesome, man. So you sell you sell watches? Just just the Monero watch? Yeah, I sell. I don't make a lot of profit. Okay. I have also uh, this uh, the box. This is the matrix box. Uh, oh, beautiful. Okay, see. This is the box for the <laughs> yeah. So and I have this sweater. You know this. I sell these sweaters. This is uh, yeah. Fuck the government because I. If you go now to uh, to and Monero is on it. Uh, Bitcoin is on it. But uh, yeah, if I go to a store and uh, I don't like them, I wear this sweat and uh, I show them my uh, sweater. <laughs> I really do. I don't care. I I, I also don't uh, I don't do this these things for my mouth. Eh? No, no. I, I everyone that is telling me to pull, wear this, he go home with headache. It's, you know because uh, I going to discuss with them that they so tired that they don't want to ask anymore. This is you know. Yeah. I need one uh, of those watches, uh, man. I need that watch. I love it. Yeah, I will send you. I will send, give me okay. an address where I can send, ship yeah. it to. I will ship you to. I will. I will. I today will. I can ship it today. I have. I have also. Uh, I have also. Uh, um, I don't know. Are you familiar with Ergen? The Ergen oil. Argan oil. Yeah. You heard of it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We uh, we are the owners, the official UNESCO owners of the Ergen grounds in. Uh, and and uh, we are we have the complete supply chain in our hands. You know, we're creating it from the beginning for, to the end to the client. And I accept Monero, of course. <laughs> yeah. Wait, tell me, what, for what shampoo, is, conditioners, oil? Huh? What is the oil typically used for? I will I will send you I will send you a sample. Huh? What, yeah, what is it used for typically? The oil. I have uh, it, uh, argan oil is very very good for uh, for your skin. So I have the cosmetic one. It's for your skin. The outside I have the edible one. It's very nice with eating. I have the shampoo. I have uh, the conditioners, the hair mask. I have the emlu. It's a kind of uh, it's a kind of uh, peanut butter. You know, a kind of peanut butter, very healthy with honey, uh, almonds, and uh, the or argan oil together. It's uh, it, it tastes like uh, peanut butter, but it's extremely healthy. So uh, yeah, this thing, that this is what uh, what we uh, what we do. Yeah. Hmm. Where is it grown? <laughs> what I, yeah. Where is it grown? Uh, in Morocco. In Morocco, in the mountains. Oh, yeah, yeah, in the mountains. Amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> did, did, did you see we had this website called Gratuitous? Gratuitous. Gratuitous. Yeah, it's a company that we have where we no. sell we sell products. Right now, we're selling mm -hmm. coffee. Uh, we yeah. get it from Guatemala. We get it from a farm in Guatemala. We went down there ourselves. We taught the farmers about Monero. We gave them their own private keys. And then so uh, people can purchase the coffee on our website. They could pay with Monero or whatever they want. 
Uh, but then if they like the coffee, they can send a tip in Monero and it goes directly to the workers that we gave paper wallets to. So maybe we could uh, do something that like that with the Aragon oil. That's, that's interesting. Something we should talk about. I don't know uh, much. Of course, about- of course. Uh, you can come to you, you are welcome. I, we we control the complete area. Amid- we, oh, I have I- also movies on the web. We are, we are the boss. My uh, my uh, my family is the the mayor. Uh, we control the complete area. The uh, police uh, and everything is. They are allowed on special occasions. They cannot go and enter because it is protected area. You know, so uh, yeah. yeah, it's only one time a year you can uh, the the tree give the nuts, and there we make our products from. You know, yeah, it's a very interesting to see. You can see it on my website, uh, Argan Argan Country dot uh, NL. It's uh, it's a web shop, and you can see all the videos and everything there. And uh, yeah, of course, um, Monero is uh, we. I, I accept Monero, <laughs> normal. <laughs> So the, they call it the liquid gold, you know, the liquid gold. The Ergen oil is called the liquid gold. And for me, Monero is the digital gold or yeah. whatever. <laughs> uh, so, you know, nice switch. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, we'll have to talk more about this. There might be something there where we could sell it on gratuitous. Of course. And, of course. Uh, of course. Come to Morocco, we can meet the work because the workers come and they, they have yeah, to yeah, yeah. Right? They come and harvest. Yeah, it's my family. It's my, the workers are my family. You can meet oh. everyone. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can meet, you can see it in the view. We have the it's in high in the mountains. We have high up up in the mountains. Yeah, it's very very nice. I always go there when the shit breaks out. When everything broke and everything, I go there. I have everything there. Uh, I have my own grounds to make food. I have my own water source. I have my own palace. I have my own. I have everything there. You know. So yeah, of course you're welcome <laughs> to come whenever Does- you want. Does your yeah. family uh, under the people that that work with you and your family do they understand crypto? Are they are they uh, not really? No, no, a couple of couple of them, a couple of them understand, but most of them they don't understand. You know, they just want money for their work. They mm-hmm. they, they you know they're, they're, they're actually the life is 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 very easy, simple. You know, they're uh, they don't uh, care about uh, clothing, other things. Uh, yeah, but uh, they get paid good. Yeah, you can come, of course. This is just it's my family. Yeah, they can come. Uh, it's very nice. I think they like it. <laughs> I had a friend. He was, but if you come, there is no luxury, zero luxury. So you have to go back. You know, it, it's very hard. It's fifty degrees. You know. <laughs> oh wow! So it's, uh, fifty it's, degrees. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh wow, that's hot. Fifty degrees. Fifty degrees. It's no joke. <laughs> And so uh, sleeping in 50 degrees is, yeah, 40 degrees, it's, it's very, very, you know, uh, <laughs> it's hard. It's hard. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's okay. It's okay. I, I, I knew I, think, uh, I, I, knew I was going to reach, reach out to you to talk. This, this is good, man. It's a good conversation. I'm glad I got to, got to meet you. Uh, I think we'll, we'll, yeah, talk, I we'll talk more offline. Is there anything else you want to bring up? Before we uh, close it out, anything that you want? No, I, I hope uh, hope the Monero community understand what uh, what we are trying to do. That is uh, adoption. I want to push adoption. You know, try go go and sell that car that you have. You know, sell it for for crypto or a bike or your clothes. You know, try to do it. You know, try it. Just don't just wait. Try it. You know, try it yourself. I do it. My friends do it. You know, if we can do it, you know, you can do it as well. Yeah, I tried selling my Jeep in 2018 for, for Monero. Um, I had a guy and then he ended up not buying it. Uh, but then I actually, I sold it, uh, uh, I guess it was two years ago now. Sold it for for cash, but put it into Monero, obviously. I, no, no, but you Monero, tried. And then I, I live off Monero for the most part. I'm trying to do that. Uh, yeah. But yeah, no, I totally agree. the the way The way we win, the way we we make sure Monero survives, is we just start using it, we adopt it, we use it peer to peer, we create our own yes. ecosystem, yes. and uh, ignore ignore everybody yeah, else. Exactly. So that's why we have our other show, Monero Monero Topia. Exactly, exactly. Basically, the concept. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. All right. Exactly. I- it's 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 exactly like this. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, I hope everybody. Start doing this. That's what we need. <laughs> and I'll be in touch with you. Nice with to Ricardo. meet you, man. Nice to meet you. Yes, nice to meet you. Uh, any chance you're going to come down to uh, yeah. Miami for the conference? We're having a conference in Miami in April. I don't know if Miami? you... Miami? 
Yeah. During you the know, big I will tell you something. I hate, I, I'm very scared of flying. Okay. I I, I never uh, I fly it one time in my life, you know, and it was uh, three hours, and uh, I pissed my oh, pants. Yeah. So. <laughs> Yeah, I know a lot of people. A problem, like, hey, you, know, you, you take you take something, you knock yourself out on the plane, you wake up, you're in, you're in Miami. Yeah, you're yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah give me some information about it. You know, maybe uh, maybe it's, it's something. Okay, I, I'll I, send I, you I, the uh, link. Yeah, Miami is. Huh? I'll send you the link. It's Monerotopia.com. Yes. Thank you, thank you. I will I will right. check it, of course. Yeah, thank you so much for all your right, time. Anna. And, uh, yeah. Thank nice you, man. You. Thank you, Douglas. Nice you. Yeah, this is great. I, I appreciate that you're just Monero. speaking your mind, man. I like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do it. I love it. <laughs> All right, buddy. Nice meeting you. Thank you. Nice meeting you. Bye-bye. Thank you for joining us on this week's episode. We release new episodes every week. You can find and subscribe to the show on iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, YouTube, or wherever you listen to podcasts. And if you have an Alexa device, you can tell it to listen to the latest episode of the Monero Talk podcast. Go to monerotalk.live slash subscribe for a full list of places where you can watch and listen. If you want to interact with us, guests, or other podcast listeners, you can follow us on Twitter. And please leave us a review on iTunes. It helps people find the show, and we are always happy to read them. So thanks so much, and we look forward to being back next week.